Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'll be talking about if the XFL should do an expansion in 2024. Before we get into today's video, please smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell if you're new to my channel. Chances are if you're watching this video, that means you really love sports and also drop a like on this video. My opinion on a possible XFL expansion in 2024. To me, I think it would be really cool to see more teams in the XFL. But at the same time, I think that the XFL should focus more on the teams that they currently have and build up their audience for the 2024 season. My gut tells me that the XFL should wait until 2025 at the earliest for a league expansion. By then, we should know how the XFL is doing financially and how much the league has grown in popularity to see if the league should expand by then. So if the league decides to have more teams in 2024, they could always add old teams from the original 2001 XFL. They can also add new teams to new locations for possible expansion. Now let's go to the possible 2001 XFL teams to bring back. The Memphis Maniacs are an original XFL team from 2001 and since then the city hasn't had a team. But now the city does have a USFL team called the Memphis Showboats. If you are a bit of a football historian, you would know that the Houston Oilers from the NFL left Houston in favor of Memphis, Tennessee before later moving to Nashville to become the Tennessee Titans as we know them today. The original 2001 XFL team had an overall attendance per home game of 20,396 people. So I believe that they should consider Memphis as a destination even though that the USFL has a team there. The city of Los Angeles has had two XFL teams in 2001 and in 2020 and those teams are the Extreme in 2001 and the Wildcats in 2020. The Extreme did a lot better in attendance figures than the Wildcats did. The Extreme averaged over 20,000 people per home game compared to the Wildcats only averaged a little over 13,000 per home game. The Los Angeles Extreme did have success by winning the 2001 XFL Championship game while the Wildcats in only 5 games played went 2-3. and three. In this case, I think that the XFL should consider bringing back the Extreme instead of the Wildcats because the Extreme have more interesting history and are more iconic to the city of Los Angeles. The San Francisco Demons could be a wonderful team to bring back. Why? Because they had the highest average attendance from the XFL in 2001 of 34,954 people. By having a team in San Francisco, they could have a rivalry with the Seattle Sea Dragons like they do with the 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. That could be maybe the best rivalry of any teams in the XFL. The XFL should consider bringing back the San Francisco Demons in the future. Now let's go to possible locations. Salt Lake City, Utah has only one of the four major professional sports in the city and that's the Jazz from the NBA. The city doesn't come to mind when people think of football, but the city does have a devoted following for their NBA franchise, the Utah Jazz, and has a great attendance. Currently, the city doesn't have any professional football teams currently as of yet, but the city did have an AAF team called the Stallions in the lead folded before its first season concluded in 2019. The city is the most popular city in Utah and is the 122nd most popular city in the United States. Utah vs. Utah State is a must-attend game for football fans from all other states. By having a XFL team here in this part of the country is ideal with it being close to Las Vegas and closer to Seattle, compared to the other current North Division rivals from St. Louis and Washington, D.C. In my opinion, I think that the XFL should consider this city, because they don't have to compete with any other football leagues yet. It would be nice to add a city that doesn't have many professional sports teams. Oklahoma City is the capital and the largest city of the state of Oklahoma. The city was founded on April 22nd of 1889 and with a current metro population of close to 1.5 million people. Oklahoma City doesn't have any professional football teams as of yet, but the city does have one professional sports franchise from the NBA called the Thunder. With the city that doesn't have a lot in terms of professional sports, but Oklahoma City does have the market for it. 
The city supports the Oklahoma City Thunder, and there's a lot of support for the Oklahoma Sooners and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. And by giving them a XFL team, that would give these two fan bases something to unite them. I would say that this city is a great location for a XFL expansion team in 2024 or in the future. And the state of Oklahoma is a huge football fan. Phoenix is the capital and the most populous city of the state of Arizona. The city is the fifth most populous city of the United States, the most populous state capital in the country, and the only U.S. state capital with a population of more than 1 million residents. Phoenix is home to several professional sports franchises, and is one of only 13 U.S. metropolitan areas to have representatives of all four major professional sports leagues. The city has teams from the NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL, WNBA, IFL, USLC. In the city's history, they have had four football franchises naming the Arizona Cardinals in the NFL, the Arizona Hotshots from the AAF, the Arizona Rattlers from the IFL, and the Arizona Wranglers slash Arizona Outlaws of the USFL until 1986. The last spring football team that the state of Arizona had was the Arizona Hotshots of the Alliance of American Football until they folded in 2019. I believe that Phoenix, Arizona would be a great destination for a XFL team and with the huge population would be a great recipe for the lead to have success. Chicago is the most populous city of the state of Illinois. The city is the third most populous city in the United States after New York City and Los Angeles, with a population of 2,746,388 people. The city of Chicago is the only city to continuously host major professional sports since 1871, having only taken 1872 and 1873 off due to the Great Chicago Fire. Chicago has many professional sports teams naming the Bears from the NFL, the Cubs and the White Sox from MLB, the Blackhawks from the NHL, the Chicago Bulls from the NBA, the Sky from the WNBA, and the Fire from MLS. Additionally, Chicago is one of eight cities in the United States to have won championships in all four major professional sports. The city did have a XFL team back in 2001, and they were called the Enforcers, and they played at Soldier Field. In Chicago's history, they have had six professional football teams, and this great sports city deserves to have another football team after the Bears. So my opinion is that the XFL should really consider adding a team back in Chicago in the Nets expansion. Toronto is the capital city of the Canadian province of Ontario, Canada with a population of 2,794,356 in 2021. It's the most populous city in Canada and with the fourth most populous city in North America. Toronto is represented in five major professional sports leagues, with teams in the CFL, NHL, MLB, NBA, and MLS. The city also has many other sports leagues. The city is one of four North American cities alongside Chicago, Los Angeles, and Washington, D.C. to have won titles in its five major league sports. Toronto has had only one professional football team in its history, and that's the Toronto Argonauts from the CFL. If the XFL decides to add an expansion team here, that would be the first spring football league in this great city. I absolutely think that Toronto would be a wonderful location for a XFL team in the future. Portland is the largest city of the state of Oregon. The city has a population of 652,503 people, making it the 26th most populated city in the United States. The sixth most populous on the West Coast and the second most populous in the Pacific Northwest after Seattle. The city of Portland is home to three major lead sports franchises, naming the Portland Trailblazers of the NBA, the Timbers from MLS, and the Thorns FC from the NWSL. But they don't have a football team yet. Despite Portland being the 19th most populated metro area in the United States, Portland contains only one franchise from the NFL, NBA, NHL, or MLB, making it the United States' second most populated metro area with that distinction, behind San Antonio, which also has only one NBA team called the Spurs. The Portland sports fans are characterized by their passionate support of their teams. The Trailblazers sold out every home game between 1977 and 1995. 
That's a span of 814 consecutive games, and that's the second longest streak in American sports history. Since the Portland Timbers joined MLS in 2011, they have sold out every home match since joining the league. In my opinion, I think that this wonderful city should get a XFL expansion team as soon as possible and they could sell out a lot of home games. San Diego, California has a population of 1,386,932 people. It's the 8th most populous city in the United States. The city is home to only one major professional sports team, called the San Diego Padres from MLB. But the area is home to several other highest level professional teams, minor league, semi-pro and amateur teams, and college teams. San Diego used to have a NFL team called the San Diego Chargers from 1961 to 2016 and then they moved to Los Angeles. Since the Chargers moved, they did get a spring football team from the AAF called the San Diego Fleet. But they folded in 2019 and since then they haven't had a professional outdoor football team. With this great state going through the loss of the Chargers of the NFL and then the fleet of the AAF who folded on them, this new league has potential and San Diego has a passionate fan base. Perhaps the XFL can win over the broken hearts of Chargers fans. Just because the NFL was dumb enough to leave this wonderful city, the XFL should take advantage of this and add a team in the city whenever the league decides to do an expansion. So those are the teams and the cities that I think they should consider. What cities do you guys think they should use? Let me know in the comments down below. Before you leave, please smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell if you're new to my channel. And if you love sports, this is definitely the channel for you and also share this video with more sports fans. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nathan and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Just keep loving sports.